Hey everybody, this is Randy the Mobile Traveler. Welcome to this next video. I'm going to do a quick video. I'm going to do a little tour. It's a 1996 Dodge Ram van. It's a B3500 and I've been building it out. I've been working on this on and off since, uh, oh, February. All right. Let's take a look and see what we got. Okay, like I said, this is a 1996 Dodge Ram van. Now, guess what? It's a high top. You got fans up here in the top. We got one. And we got two in the back. Anyway, the lady that I did this for doesn't want to be on camera. She's kind of shy. So I'm just going to do a quick tour. Since I did the build out of it, I know where everything's at. Okay. First thing I want to show you is it has a swivel seat in it. Now, this van used to be a church van. It, uh, it was a little shuttle. Anyway, we got a swivel seat. Over here, we got a bench seat underneath this box where that vent is. Right here, this van had heating and air conditioning in the back. So the box covers it up. And the bench is just a nice little added thing to it. Over here on a we got drawers. Now this was built on a budget. These drawers you can get them at Walmart fairly cheap. All I did was I raised up the refrigerator. It's an Alpacool. I'm not sure how many quarts it is. She didn't know. So we got it raised up. Got the porta potty up underneath here. Uh, she's gonna put a curtain, you know, to cover that up. Now on the floor. What we have is linoleum, and it goes the whole width, or the whole length of the van, up underneath the bed, all the way to the floor. Over here we have a four foot bed. Now this van is only five foot eight inches wide, but she's not very tall, so she fits perfect there. Me, myself, I'd have to have it a little bit longer, that's why my bed goes side to side. Now, on the wall here, you can see we have shiplap. That's on this side and this side. Okay, we've got a 27-inch TV that I placed up here. And yes, it's on a swivel. Oh, I'm having a hard time swiveling. This is one hand. Anyway, she can sit in her swivel seat or on the bench and watch movies. Or watch movies where she's laying down. Kind of a little added thing to it. Kind of nice. This is what I like the best. The kitchen. Let's see if we can get in on this. Okay. Now, when I say this thing was built on a budget, she called me up and asked me if I could do a build out. Well, sure. What kind of wood? She said, I have some scrap wood. So, this is built out of all scrap wood. And it actually turned out rather nice. I think you all can see that. Got a spot for the Camp Chef oven. We have more drawers from Walmart or wherever. Down underneath here, and we got a drawer. That's where she keeps her propane. This one here, she keeps her garbage. Now, this is not open in the front. It opens up from the back. Here, this is a, one of those salad bowls. Oh, she left dirty dishes for us. Anyway, it's a deep dish sink. It was a salad bowl. And that's just the cover for it that I cut out. 
and we have a hand pump for water. She didn't want to have anything electric, so it's just a little hand pump, and it works perfect. I love it. Okay. Like I said, this was built on a budget. And I, I love it. I'm standing up in it, and I probably have a good six, eight inches above my head. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm vertically challenged myself. I think I'm five foot ten. And I'm guesstimating that this is probably a good six and a half foot ceiling. Now over here, the lighting, those are all LED lights. I don't need to turn them on because I don't need to waste her solar. Oh, speaking of solar, I placed 300 watts of solar up on her roof. They are the flat panels. And, you know, I just noticed that. I'm going to zoom in on this little towel. It says, life is a journey. Isn't it, though? So true. Anyway, we're going to go outside. She's also going to cover up underneath the bed with a curtain. Lightweight versus wood. What do you think? Kind of a nice little setup, if I do say so myself. I love the kitchen area. Okay, we're going to take a walk outside. <laughs> we got a nice little shoe rack right here. Now look at this table also. I forgot to show you this. This is added counter space. And all this is, is a flip up piece of wood on a couple hinges with a board. I just put a board here on the bottom. Then you flip it up and it's a table. We're going to leave it down because I only got one hand. And I did place USBs and 12 volt plugs throughout the whole house. We got two here, and we have one behind this right back here. And we have one in the back down below for the refrigerator. We've got uh, one in the front also. This is a sweet thing. I love this place. All right, let's go outside to the back, and we are going to check out the solar. Okay, right up underneath here is her solar. We have two Renogy 12-volt batteries, 100 amp hours each. Over here is her inverter. It's a Slimline 1500. It's a pretty easily accessible you have your fuse panel you got a relay here everything is nip and tucked right up underneath there everything is nice and solid and pretty you got a little tap light up underneath the bed so you can see what you're doing all the wires are put up underneath the bed We've got them pinned down so they're not going to jostle any along with the battery that's very important having your batteries good and stable. You see I got the 2 by tools around it and it's nice and tight and it's not going to move at all. What do you think of that? Okay. Now over here I just want to kind of show you the van. It's a light blue and it's direct to metal paint. Did it themselves in a couple hours, just sanded her down and used the air, air system and spray painted it and really did a nice job. Down on the bottom is truck bed liner, where that black is. Of course, all the windows are tinted and we have Reflectix inside there that fits all the windows. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of this build. I think I'm the most proud because she likes it. I'm going to try to raise up here a little bit. Hang on to the camera. I'm going to see if you guys can see the top where I put the solar. I'm hoping that turned out for me. Anyway, she also hauls a trailer 
with a couple kayaks in there and it works great this van has uh, like I said it's a 1996 it's got 3500 chassis that means it's a one ton it's got a big 360 motor you know this van it, it's beautiful it's just like mine except for it's got a high top you can stand up okay in some nation that's the big word for the day can, can I, anyone oil and salt yeah. you know what yeah mark what's that <laughs> what what's that mark everybody can, can, can you meet oil, mark can there you go oil and salt these potatoes and put them in their oven yeah somebody can oil and salt them thank you so that is mark he's the one that helped me out with the class a he didn't know i was taping anyway <laughs> I love the van. That thing is sweet, and who knows? Maybe mine will look just like, well, no, I doubt it. Okay, you guys, thanks for joining me. Remember, love one another if you can, and if you can't, what do you do? Gotta go.